Hey YouTube, told you I'd be back soon. I've got so much stuff to show you guys this year. Babies are just starting to hatch out now. Uh, I've got a lot of really, really cool clutches coming up this year. So I just wanted to share a few things that hatched uh, last week. So let's just take a look at them. I like to get right down to business right away, not too much uh, jibber jabbering or playing around. So this clutch, or this baby, is from a fire yellow belly krypton het pied to a pastel pied het clown. So I believe that this is a fire yellow belly krypton. So fire, yellow belly, het cryptic, and het clown. Look at that head pattern. Typical krypton. So I have some other babies from this clutch and I'm not quite sure what they are yet so I'm going to hold off on showing those for now, but this is the one that was the most obvious for me. And I think the coolest snake in the clutch, too. So fire, yellow belly, krypton, pied. All right, now the next clutch, uh, you guys know that I'm kind of crazy on banana genetics, or uh, sorry, uh, genetic striped clown stuff. And um, so I've got a few clutches of those uh, that have been laid already this year, and I've just got one that just hatched out. So I'll show you the results of this clutch. Okay, so this breeding was from a banana G-stripe clown to a cinnamon pewter double het G-stripe clown. So we got a pastel banana. Now he or she will be 100% double het G-stripe clown. And then I got a G-stripe. So that will be 100% Het Clown. And here's a Banana Cinnamon G-Stripe. And we got a Clown. A really, really nice pewter clown. So again, these are all 100% het for G-stripe. It's so much nicer having the double visual male to use as breeding because then the worst case scenario, you're going to hit on 100% double hats like this pastel banana. But all of the visuals are going to be het for the other one. So this snake being 100% het G-stripe and this snake being 100% het G-stripe, this one being 100% het clown, this one being 100% hat clown, that really uh, adds a lot of power to that project. You know, your odds goes up so much when you're dealing with a visual that's hat for the other. However, it's even better when you produce actual visual G-stripe clowns. This is my first ever pastel G-stripe clown. So that's pretty cool, and that's a female, I believe, and if so, she'll go into the whole back rack. And this one is a cinnamon banana G-stripe clown. Actually, I had a little bit of a hard time. Now that, it, now that this one shed, I can see the pattern a little bit more. When it first hatched, I wasn't 100% sure what it is. Um, it, it's not just a banana cinnamon G-stripe like this one. It's definitely got clown in it, too. So yeah, this is, these are the first two G-stripe clowns for the year. Uh, hopefully the first of many. Um, I think I've got three or four more clutches that could have G-stripe clowns in them. And then I've got some other clutches where I bred, um, I bred a clown combo to a G-stripe clown. Uh, G-stripe combo, and we'd get some more uh, jeans in, in for like double hats and things too. So I should have a really good selection of G-stripe clown stuff this year. So let me know what you think of these guys. Let me know which one you like better, and uh, I'll definitely show the next clutch as they hatch as well. And as always, please like and subscribe. Also, please visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I have a great selection of ball pythons available on there. Uh, these 2022s are going to start hitting the website in the pretty near future. Um, I actually want to get all the weights updated from all my 2021s. 
on there yet. Um, you know, my weights are, I don't get a chance to update weights very often. So if you look on my website and you see something is very, very small for its age, that probably means I haven't updated the weight in a while. So anyway, uh, check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter for special deals and offers. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again as soon as I've got something else good to show you, which I have a feeling will be pretty soon. We'll see you guys later.